Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan deck profile. Now, before this begins, just want to get into a couple things and just say a couple things. So I know it's been a little bit since I've done a deck profile. Obviously, since the last one that I did, that being 58, I have moved homes and such, renovated homes, and also just been working a lot. You know, a lot of stuff's happened, especially a lot of Beyblade releases and such going out. It's a lot being a part of two communities and trying to keep everybody happy during everything going on right now but i see it as my big time duty to do so so definitely just support me with what i'm doing and such you know what i mean whether it's beyblade or bakugan you know you enjoy the beyblade content watch the beyblade content you know if you only enjoy that the bakugan content same thing because like your guys support really helps motivate me and such that much more because i struggle during things too now because obviously everything's really rough and i'm just being honest you know so, yeah, everybody who's understood that, thank you so much, and especially even during this time period, it's not like I've stopped doing Bakugan stuff, been putting out constant unboxings and such, and also started the Brawlcast uh, channel with M Stubbs and Baku Blade. You know, we have the Brawlcast, and we constantly are doing videos on that, trying to do one every week, if not every other week and such, and also being an adult and working and having to work around all our schedules can get really stressful. Ask them. You know, they're my buds. We're, we're all adults, you know, and, and do adult stuff. Uh, yeah, so I'm just saying that because it's been stressful. And I just want to be real with you guys, you know, because it's a lot being a part of two communities and trying to keep both communities happy at the same time while struggling with a lot of stuff. So I'm just getting that out there. <sighs> Deep breath, Kimbo. Okay. Anyways, I got it out. I'm all good now. Just hope you guys understand things and just, you know, whenever you guys leave a like or comment or anything, it means the absolute world and it's definitely appreciated. I'm just saying that right now. And anybody who's triggered at me, like, not getting a deck pro flower right away, you just missed everything I said and sorry that I, I'm just getting my real life stuff out and being honest with you guys because I'm a real dude and a real YouTuber and I love all my fans. I love all you guys. And I'm just real with you all the time, you know? But anyways... Now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. We've got deck profile number 59 here. So I actually like stayed up last night to finish it. I've had, um, you know, ideas for this deck for the longest time and I wanted to pay homage with it, especially with this time period. So this deck is called the Serp Burn Fire Fist AX deck. So you can already tell like what it is, Serp Burn, you know, I, I like Burn Serpentes, you know, uh, a lot of people know that. And then Flame Fist, you know, it's a Flame Fist deck, but also Anime Expo because Anime Expo obviously not happening this year. They're really bummed that it hasn't happened this year. And, uh, you know, a lot of things like, you know, just being canceled in general this year is honestly messed with my mentality. I'll be real with you guys. It has bad because every single thing I planned, like I was planning on going to like five, six things like I did last year, even more so than last year. But they all got scrapped because of things going on right now. And I've been really, really bummed, especially like being way out in the country and, you know being really down about like a lot of things going on now but trying to stay positive and just be happy and such but yeah and with this being said more deck profiles are going to be coming soon i've just been waiting to get this one done and got a few cards and such and had to wait for all the stuff to get here but now that it's here can unveil it to you guys so what we have here is Pyrus Serpentis, B Power 600, damage of one, Flame Fist, and a uh, regular Fist with it. So, you know, it can get up to like 850 right away, which I mean, that's pretty decent. Um, and then we got Arliss Hydronoid Ultra here, B Power 200, damage of two, lands on a Flame Fist plus 1000, 1200, and then the Flame Fist can get up to like 1450 and three right away. It's a strong boy and really, really awesome. Uh, and then we got Aquas Cubo here, B Power of 100, damage of five, uh, Magic Shield or Flame Fist plus 600. Hundred, um, you know, with Cubo. So you're talking about Cubo getting up to like possibly 1350 right away. And even if it lands on the uh, the regular fist and still get up to like a thousand, like, you know, 950 ish. So yeah, overall, not bad, man. And also, this pays homage to a lot of people. You all know who you are. Anybody who uses like the Serp Burn Flame Fist uh, setup because it's a kind of common setup. And you know what? I was like, I'm going to make a deck with this setup because it is a really cool and fun setup. And it's just fun in general. It's a pretty strong deck, but also um, just so much fun because of the effects of these Bakugan. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll show you guys the cores. So for uh, this Flame Fist, we got plus 250, plus 3. For this one, another plus 250, plus 3. Uh, 150 and 4 for that one. Another plus 250, plus 3. 
got plus 650 for the magic shield and then we got plus 150 and plus two for uh the regular fist and also you can see i'm using armored alliance uh cores with it because obviously like you know paying homage to like uh armored alliance but also like just you know paying homage to like the first season like i said at this time period back uh a year ago this was the main deck to make or like one of the main decks to make and such and just it's still really really strong man and i mean even serpent use use it wasn't always used with these bakugan in particular but you know i th i thought it would be cool to like use them all together so yeah but we got arliss hydronoid ultra here we got Aquas Cubo here, which both of these are, you know, back when I've gotten before, but I got another one of them, and honestly, they were planned for this deck. And then Pyrus Serpentis, same thing here. Uh, so yeah, they're all planned for this deck. I'm like, I want to make a deck with all of them, because they're just so fun. But anyways, I'll show you guys the deck that I made for it. So Wildfire, three costs, plus 400. Arliss Power uh, for plus 800. So Arliss Bakugan in general, plus 800. So it's plus 800, three costs, which is nice. Titan Hydronoid Ultra, 208, four costs. But Flame Fist, plus 2,000. It's a given. He's a really strong boy. Uh, Hyper Serpent T, so this is the Burn Serp part. Uh, when this opens, if it's holding a Flame Fist, you make a Pyrus Attack for five. So literally five damage as soon as it opens anytime. So this coupled with like rerolls and such, you know, really, really strong. We got Shun. When you open a Bakugan, reveal the top card of your opponent's deck. If it's an action card, uh, you can copy its effect. So it doesn't remove it from them. It's kind of like taking their ammo and using it before they can use it. Um, so yeah uh but still a really cool effect especially if they have like a crazy strong card or such you take that effect and you get that effect too on top of whatever uh you know you could bring to the table with what you've got another wildfire right there you got emily open a bakugan make a pirate's attack for two so that's two more attack you know on a gate an action card that costs three or less with blinding ink Really good, you know, like action stopping card. Firestorm plus six, Arliss Power for plus 12, four cost, big time damage with it. Quick fire, uh, Pirate's Attack for one and reroll. Of course, having that reroll in there because helping out Serpentees and such and having cards like Emily and such in here too. Drago Skater Supreme, Rapid Fire. Uh, second Rapid card, uh, Rapid Fire card you play this turn is free. And also with Drago, uh, the third Rapid Card, a uh, Rapid Fire card you play each turn is free. Pirate's Flash Fire. Uh, you know, it's a rapid fire card, but remove all enemy Baku cores and negate their effects. So a crazier hot potato, which can be triggered. Like you get Drago out and then you happen to have Pyrus flash fire in your hand too. You can play that right away and then all of their cores are gone. So that's really, really effective for sure. Hyper Serpentees, another one there. Got Hyper Cubo, 306. Uh, Magic Shield of Flame Fist, plus 800. Strong boy and two cost. Definitely the strongest Cubo. Avalanche, plus 200. Uh, played a card from three different factions this turn, plus 800, two cost. Liquid Darts, plus 400. Arliss Power, two less to play. So basically one cost for plus 400, which that's really good. Got a Hot Potato, remove an enemy's ba uh, enemy Bakugan's Bakukor, negate it. It's a fact. Return the Baku core onto the field face down. So this is kind of a anti, you know, uh, like, you know, mono uh, core type of setup with this, you know, because obviously the cards are moving uh, the cores and such. So, you know, like Flame Fist decks or like a deck that focuses on magic shields or just a certain, you know, core. It's kind of like a deck that goes against those. Uh, another Pyrus Flash Fire. Another Liquid Darts, another Drago Skater Supreme. Uh, got a deep dive, draw a card, and reroll a Bakugan. Get you some ammo out there with another card, and then also reroll in case you mess up. Lava Flow plus one energy. That one energy can make a big difference. Uh, another Titan Hydronoid Ultra. We got your boy Dan in here. Open a Bakugan, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's not a flip, you can play it for free. Got a Song of Fire plus five hanging energy, three cost. Lava Flow, another energy in there. <clears throat> Titan Hydronoid Ultra got another one there. Like I said, it's not really, really common where I use three of one card, but it's really good in this case, you know. Uh, Air Zero, reveal, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's not a flip, you can play it for free. Pyrus Vortex, plus five. Rapid Fire with it, too. Uh, another Deep Dive, draw a card and reroll. Block Growth, Aqua's Inventor stopped. Another Hyper Cubo. Lava Lash, you can only play this before rolling, but this turn, your Bakugan gets victory, plus four hanging energy. So if you win... With it, you get four hanging energy. So that can switch up things big time, especially like the lava flows. Or, yeah, well, no. Like lava flow, if you win, you wouldn't really need to use the lava flows or anything. But literally, you win as four hanging energy, and you could play a card right at the end of the turn with that hanging energy, which, you know, <laughs> in this case, can switch up things big time with the cards in here. Uh, quick fire, got another one there. Another Emily. Um, Counter regression, chaos, and Pyrus stop. Pyrus vortex, another one there. Rapid fire. Uh, Song of fire. 
we got Battle Hardened. So if you have flipped three or more cards this attack, uh, it stops non pyrus and you get five hanging energy. It's three cost for it. Um, you know, at first it was like, does this card make it where, um, uh, like, you know, if you get this effect, like you flip three or more cards, is it free and just do that? The answer is no. Uh, you know, it's still three costs. So you basically have to flip three or more cards and then have three energy and get this out. But you get a built-in Song of Fire with it if you can get it off, you know. So, yeah, it could be really, really useful and that can switch up things big time. Just got to get it at the right moment. A little bit of luck with it, but if it pays off, it pays off in a big time way. Uh, another Hyper Cubbo. And then another air zero. So yeah, as you can see with this deck, the big thing is is obviously having the power of like the flame fist and such, and even the uh, effects with all the Bakugan and them all being strong, but also the underlying damage uh, aspect of it. Because if you're not paying attention, it could build up on you. You know, imagine you have uh, you know hyper serpentines out. Imagine you have Emily out as well. That means every time you open a Bakugan, it does seven damage to your opponent. So that's not something to sleep on. And plus the quick fire is doing a little bit of damage as well uh, to the damage right away before like even getting the damage set up with, you know, the actual Bakugan. So there's an underlying like kind of poison with it, you know, underlying burn and such with it because it's burning away like your, your energy, your life points and such, but also the power of all the Bakugan. So yeah, man, overall, I think it's a really, really cool setup for a Serpentine's uh, burn deck. So yeah, man. Just the way I do it, and it fits definitely with my style, and just, like, you know, I love having, like, some themes and stuff with things. And like I said, I also think about Anime Expo, because it was amazing. Everybody that I met there and such and was able to talk to, I'm totally honored, and it was absolutely awesome. And anybody who was kind of scared to come up and talk to me and such, like, whatever, like, you know events for Zoom at any point, you know, never be afraid to come up and talk to me. If I'm recording or something, it just means I'm like filming or something, or I'm just talking to someone. Don't be scared to come up and actually talk with me, you know, obviously, hopefully things will be better in 2021 and be able to go to like events and such, but never be afraid to come up and talk with me. Uh, you know, if anything, I just might be filming or such, just let me finish filming or whatever. And I'm totally down to talk to whoever. That's how it always is. And I might have like a resting like Kanye West face, I, I think, but I, I don't mean to, you know, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a nice person. Person. everybody who's met me knows that um but yeah i'm just saying that now anybody who like who's thought that or such you know never be afraid to come up and talk with me at any of these events or such but yeah for now uh just gonna be here filming and such and while we're all like separated stuff we're well we're you know we're apart but we're still together and that's one thing i love just about even having the channel and such you know being able to make the videos and stuff and help everybody like during this time period and heck during the whole quarantine and everything going on now, I still continue to put out content on the regular, you know what I mean? And that goes to both Beyblade and Bakugan. And like I said, it's a lot juggling both uh, communities, but I try to keep everybody happy. But people also gotta look out for your boy too, because I'm a human and I try. But anyways, guys, that is it for this epic Bakugan deck profile number 59, the Serp Burn Flame Fist Anime Expo deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Next will be number 60. And number 60, I am saying it already now, so it brings some big time hype. Number 60 will be me unveiling the deck that I used when I faced Jet. So, yeah, you know, if you haven't checked out the Bakugan official channel, go check it out. Uh, you know, had a battle against Jet Kuzo. He's freaking awesome, man. That's my dude. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows this is my dude. And whenever we're together, we just get so hype and it's so awesome. But, yeah, man. Number 60 coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice the crap out of that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content because I upload daily and definitely push that subscribe button. There's a lot of you guys that are sitting in the shadows and I've seen it. A lot of you sit in the shadows. Just, just join the army, man. Subscribe, hit that notification bell because I upload daily and the stuff constantly goes out, you know. And the support is much, much appreciated, especially things right now. Just saying. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl, I'm about to here.